Hello, this is Paul James Chapman, um, EBTL0947, and um, after several years, I figured out a way, I found out actually, after trying to uh, connect to mini private uh, shit tax server using my Dreamcast, I found out that I needed a, um, a hacked DVD disc, and um, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, do that directly on my um, on my system because I only have two Dreamcasts. One I use for PAL when I was online with the PAL server before I went down three years ago in 2007, and I was able to play from February 2006 to April 2007. So that was really cool. Um, and then I found out that you can actually get online with the Dreamcast, but you would need a device called the code breaker and a burning program called disk juggler and this shows you how to create the broadband passport disk because it doesn't show you how to actually create the um the pso files but they're essentially the same thing and what you will need to do is you'll need to go to this website the pso palace and once you go to the website, he'll actually show you what you need to do in order to download the uh, DVD source ISOs to create the actual DVD. Two of them that you actually need. Now, I'm not going to actually tell you which website you need to go to because um, the website in question is a... Um, an area of much concern and all these other things is controversial yada 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 but uh, you can actually go there uh, I'm not going to tell you where it is but once you go to the website you'll find out where it is and once you've downloaded the rather the DVD ROM ISO files um, the process is essentially the same with Disk Juggler as it is in Nero. I use Nero, so I'm going to show you how I did that uh, in Nero. Um, so let's just, just load I'm going to exit this out. Um, in Nero, you just simply go to the folder that you download the file to. In my case, I use um, download PSO. And you'll get these two files. And once you download the entire torrent, actually you'll get all these files, actually, not just so you get all, all these files. I renamed this to instructions, because I know it's instructions. Because you have to read that file. You have to read it. It tells you everything I'm telling you now. Um, once you've burned this to a DVD-ROM, um, I'm going to use Nero. And once you have the file located, it's going to show you how to burn it. I'm sure to do that right now. I'm not actually going to burn the disk because I already did that. I'm just going to show you what you need to do in order to get it up and running. Okay, once Nero loads, you're going to select DVD. And this is Nero 6. Now, I've, I purchased this. I had no reason to buy 7, 8, 9, or 10 because this works for me. So it will work if any disk program. You choose burn image to disk. Do not choose copy to DVD or anything like that because it'll just copy the file into the DVD. What you want is to burn it. Burn image to disk. And what that'll do, it'll open up and it'll pop out. It'll ask you, it'll create a new compilation. It'll ask you for the location of the file that you want to burn. But um, be sure that you choose the correct recorder. In this case, I have my. Uh, HP DVD. So make sure there's a blank disc in there. So I'm going to select the first disc and choose OK or open rather. And select this from DV CD to DVD. And make sure you do not use maximum. Don't ever use maximum when you burn CDs because it, it works, it makes it go fast, but as a rule of thumb, always choose the actual number to write at. That way you'll know your disc will work all the time. Now why does it say foreign image? Well because the ISO comes from came from the original uh, PC PSO version 2 DVDs and 
they were for Japanese computers and that's why it says foreign image so once you go through the process of burning your disk it's gonna go through all this and it's gonna pop out and ask me to put in an empty disk I do not have empty disk I'm not gonna go through that but once it does that it's gonna go through the whole process and it's gonna burn the disk and everything will be done and it will be good and I'm gonna cancel this out because um, I have no reason to do that right now um, but once you've got all that I'm sorry the CD-ROM burning I'm process has been completed do that. and it's successful oh no it isn't but my computer will say that it has so once you're done you're gonna have your DVDs and I'm gonna show you what will happen when you put the DVD actually inside the drive okay I'm gonna put the DVD inside the drive and I need to keep that open for a second now so once you put the DVD inside the drive and everything's good to go and you'll know you have a good write when this happens let's watch for a second okay be sure to label your DVDs as well obviously duh um da 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 here it comes wait for you to say load it and pull the drive now it's gonna pop up it's gonna try to run the drive automatically come on there you go when this when you see this after you create your disk then you then you have a good write you, you did it correctly now what you need to do at this point is you need to open up the disk uh, some people choose explore but this is the same thing and then you're going to go down and you're going to choose a setup um, I'm not going to set I'm just showing what you need to do when you do that you click setup open it up and I'll close this out here you're going to choose the language of English and then press OK and now go ahead through the process of, process of install, installing the DVD to your hard drive uh, choose a folder that you like whatever you know, put it wherever you like and then it's going to ask you for the second DVD again when you put the second DVD in it's going to go through that not support language thing but just go ahead and press OK and it will continue um, once you're done you'll need to go to the folder that you installed PSO2 and you're going to have to create a backup folder in my case executable backup and you're going to move not copy these files in the root folder of your backup drive okay move not copy okay those three files and then from the file from the folder that you put your, um, your your downloaded ISOs in you're going to copy all of these executable files all of them and copy them over there so don't worry about all these other ones because this is actually used to actually get into the program we're only worried about the ones that you have to back up okay so that's these three the auto run online and PSO okay just back these up copy these over to your hard drive and once you've done that you're going to run the auto run program and you're going to select options okay and even if you have a modem connection go ahead and select LAN now when you go through the process it's going to ask you if you want to install everything I did that I installed everything but for some reason the movie didn't load I don't know why I, I choose high end for everything um, and you'll know that everything worked okay when you see your serial number and access key down here I have blocked mine out because I don't want you to see mine um, and then you're going to exit and then you're going to copy everything over you're going to exit now I can't remember what else you need to do oh yeah that's fine you need to go to the website um, well, go to his website and when you go back to his website um, you'll see that there oh wait it's the wrong one my bad my bad where is it oh there we go PSO Palace no you'll see come on come on come on, come on. Let's, go, let's go let's go let's go let's go you'll see that there's a registration button down here now I'm not gonna click it because there's information on that page that he only wants people who well just go to the web page and you'll know and um, 
So once you do that, you'll make sure that um, you get the information that you need in order to get the um, serial keys that you need it. Because once you do it again, um, once you actually start the game, it's going to ask you. Oh, let me see, make sure, make sure that's right. It's going to ask you if you want to go online. And let me see, make sure I get this right. Make sure I get this right. Okay, make sure I got this right. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, once you do all that, you're going to need the access key. So once you go to his place, go to this one right here, find the URL. That's his web page. And he'll show you how to actually get the registration key and the serial keys that you need in order to uh, continue playing the game. And once you've done that, okay, we're going to run the auto, uh, the auto, run, the auto run program again from your game directory. Because you don't need your install directory anymore so you can close that out. Okay, you're gonna get auto run and then you're gonna select online. Okay. Online game, not offline. And then uh, you're gonna select start game. Now when you do that it's gonna tell you that you need to register and when you enter the it's going to ask you for three fields, the serial number, the access key and an email address. You have to keep the email address if you want to be able to um, reinstall the game or set it up for future use and once you've done that you will get an agreement and you'll get a message saying that woohoo you're done because I've already re registered so everything is done okay it's done you just click completion and uh, you can start the game uh, I'm going to cancel out because I have um, video acceleration turned off so I won't be able to go into the game Okay, but once you're done, uh, you'll see your game and, and your cereal, your snack displayed on the screen as you saw before. So what I'm going to do right now, just so to show you me getting online, I'm going to pause Camtasia. I have to shut it down and then restart it. Crap. And then I'm going to open it again with direct acceleration turn off let's move it yeah with the direct acceleration turned off and then I'll show you actually me going online okay um I'm back okay now when you go to your little um your install folder you'll see um this one now um this starts up the normal uh, thing and you could do that but he created this special one which makes, it, which makes it a lot easier it just takes you directly into the game and it's this brown icon right here which I renamed PSO version 2 so you just, you just gotta click and this little simple dialogue will come up you know whoring off his web page online offline so I'm gonna choose online now the keyboard doesn't work for some reason when I'm using online I don't know why um, I can't, <clears throat> I can't explain that. Um, I went online earlier and tried to communicate with these two um, Latino dudes, and I couldn't get the um, keyboard to start typing. So here we are. I'm going to options first of all. So English, okay, so English. Turn the sound down so you can hear me. I choose new game or continue because I already created a character. I'm use this one. Okay. Now it's going online. Now you notice that um, unlike the DC version, you can't. Um, so you see we're online here. We're online now. Okay. So <laughs> I haven't really tested with all these other things. What they what these other little things do here but um, you can, if you go here you can download the quest you can simply click or you just click the quest 
and it'll download. I've already downloaded this one. Um, let me see. I'm sure what You click it, and a little bar will show up. And you've already downloaded it, so I guess shows that you've downloaded it. You can play it offline. Um, let's go to Skyline. If you hit the the, the now I don't particularly like the controls at all. Let me just make, make that very clear. I cannot stand the control the way they figured it out. Now, if you press the left cursor key, you can see the people inside, but it doesn't show anything. Um, so it's obviously some type of bug. Let me go to a small one since. Um, there's no people there. And it shows all these little weird things. These little uh, sayings here. Epitaph for a dead waiter. God finally caught his eye. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. The body of an 18 year old. I keep it in the fridge. That's funny. I don't know what that's supposed to mean actually. But um... I'm gonna go to a block. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hit the enter key to just play the message. Now you see we've got some people here. Now I'm gonna try to type try typing on my keyboard. Oh, there it goes. It didn't work before. I don't know why. Pressing enter. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work. Now I have this set up so that um, when you press the mouse. And when you click the mouse button, you can keep the character to move without having to hold the mouse button down. Now, as you can see, it's slow because I'm using Camtasia. And you have you press the left mouse button to get the character to move, and the right mouse button to focus the uh, character. Now I'm gonna walk. Uh, I'm gonna talk to these people over here. See what's going on. These guys are obviously new here, so... So I don't know. Let me try to see if I can... Oops. I press Alt-F1 and... I guess shut the game down. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I, I, okay, I know why I did that. I did that because I was trying to see... If I can, um do those little lobby animations but I apparently just fucked up okay well there you go um you, that's how you get on Fantasy Star Star Online when you're using the PC okay so um in order to now I just found an order to use it for the Dreamcast again you have to have a, a cracked DC disc and I don't wanna I, I have only two Dreamcasts I'll probably do it with my with the one I use for my European um character since you know it can only work on a European server okay well and uh, that's it okay so um, I'm out of here and um, yeah have fun time playing to yourself <laughs>